Come down. Rising. Christ restored our life. Christ will come again in glory. As in baptism, Johnny put on Christ. So in Christ, may Johnny be clothed with glory. Here and now, dear friends, we are God's children. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Those who have this hope purify themselves as Christ is pure. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, Yet they should live. And whomever lives and believes in me shall never die. I am Omega and Alpha, the beginning and the end, the first and the last.
United States Navy and three full nations. Please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your father's faithful and honorable service. It has been my privilege to honor you. Good morning, St. Paul. Good morning. I say good morning. Good morning. And I say good morning because it's a celebration today. Yes. It's a tough ride out here today. Yes. A lot of heartfelt goodbyes in this house. Son came down on this earth. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
into this dying world. That's right, Lord. And even with our sinful nature uh -huh. yeah. and our indiscretions uh -huh. in this fallen world, Lord, your son came down unblemished yeah. and laid down a perfect sacrifice. Yeah. And some time ago, maybe around this hour, Lord, he laid down his life. He committed his soul to you. And later that time, that evening, Lord, maybe around 6, 7 this evening, in that same time and manner, Lord, they buried him in the brawl tomb. Yeah. The story didn't end there. He laid there, Lord, three days. Yeah. And on that third and appointed morning, Lord, he rose up long before breakfast <laughs> with all power in his hand. Oh, yeah. And he went and prepared a place for us. For all that believe in him. For all that trust in him. And all that claim him as the Savior, Lord. We have a final resting place. We thank you for the peace that Brother Johnny has now, Lord. And we just ask that you continue to surround us with your grace. Continue to surround us with your mercy, Lord, because we need you. We need you every hour and every day. Amen. Lord, we thank you. I don't know what we've done to deserve such a perfect God and such a perfect Savior, Lord, but thank you. And all these things, Lord, I say that I, I'm so grateful for your son. He's in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
and it reads a familiar scripture that all Bible readers should know. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Amen, Brother Shorty. Amen, because in my Father's house, amen, are many mansions. Amen. You might not have a nice house right now, but hey, if you're going up there, you're going to have a nice place. And if it were not so, amen, I would have told you, amen, and I, and I go to prepare a place for you. And it says, if I go to prepare a place for you, Troy, I will come again, amen, and receive you unto myself. That where I am, yes, sir, I am. Amen. amen, ye may be also. Yes. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Yes. And sanctify it in all of our hearts forever. Yes. And let all God's people say amen. Amen. amen.
Bernie, the family would like to acknowledge. Johnny will deeply will be deeply missed. But his legacy of love, falling in love, service, falling in love, passion of life, falling in love, will live on in the hearts of all of those who knew him and loved him. The family of Johnny Wayne Hughley wish to acknowledge with grateful appreciation all the courtesy, prayers, visits, calls, support, and condolence extended to them during this time. We will always remember Johnny. We will always remember the smile and the good times. So, we will read the obituary in silence, please. Ha, 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 ha. 
April 13th. Right, right. I was standing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
in all of your ways. I'm going to say it again. In all of your ways. Not some, not a little bit, but all. All. Know him. And he will smooth your path. But you know what? We leave out verses 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, and I'm going to follow up with that. Because it says, do not be wise in your own eyes. I'm going to say that in this church. We need this. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Wisdom only comes from God. Yes. It does not come from us. Yes. Verse 8 says this. Fear has she and turn away from evil. That's a powerful statement. Yes. It's talking teshavah, which in Hebrew means you turn away from Get his hands on. 
And Jonathan, you got his Bible. And the word that he was living by. He wanted to break bad habits and try to be there as a listening ear. He taught me to support him more during his journey on this earth. So I will say all of this. Uncle Johnny impacted everybody he met. And some of you guys called him Ned. <laughs> had to bring that in. He was stuck, and he was my nut. <laughs> but I would also like to say that he had a time that um, Sherry and I remembered. And he shared some things in his life. And we are standing here today because he saved our lives. Because of not necessarily what he said, but how vulnerable he was, how transparent he was. And he didn't want us to go through what he went through. Amen. Oh, 
of space. <laughs> That's how loud we were. And so we were sitting in the VA waiting area, and Jonathan was trying to get there. He had, had something else. He was in Cincinnati getting back. And we're all waiting, and Uncle Johnny's blood pressure kept dropping, dropping. And the doctors kept coming out saying, we need to talk to the, the family. And Lania was in Cincinnati. It was just so much. And we were just talking. But I know we were all praying. And I know we were all praying that God would find a way to heal Uncle Johnny on this side of the bed. That we will see him again. I know that's how I felt. I've been two weeks since we talked. And I said, Lord, I just need one more conversation. Um, and I was praying and I heard the Holy Spirit, excuse me, the Holy Spirit say, ask the Lord for his will. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't want to ask the Lord for his will. All right, all right. Because I think I knew the will. Right, 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 right. So I was sitting there and I looked at Aunt Liz, I looked at Tommy, and I looked at the cousin sitting there, and I looked at Uncle Johnny's friend, and I could just see on their faces one more time, one more time. And then all of a sudden, we heard, I heard, he is glorified. And I knew from that He had passed over. And I'm learning in this prayer that what Jesus taught us in this prayer was how to be honest, how to be transparent, but yet surrender to his will. Jonathan got there, we all got back in the room, and the doctors are talking. Lanille's on the phone, and she's talking about, live, daddy, live. And uh, it was just so much. And Jonathan looked at me in my eyes and said, he spoke the good fight. Right. And I said, yes, baby. But you don't need to tell me. You talk to the doctor. Yeah. And he looked at the doctor. And he said, he stopped the fight. Right. No more. No more. And we knew. He's not healed on this side All right. of the bed. Yes. But oh my God. Yeah. He's healed yeah. on the other side. to 